Namaste, gods, goddesses, and emissaries of light. This is Dr. Shreya Tayen. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be updated on my latest and my current videos. Okay, so I have gotten information from Meditation with Source Energy to start doing healings that are going to help you guys change your DNA, your soul DNA is what I'm speaking of. Well, of course, your physical DNA affects your spiritual DNA, but we're going to do this from 5D. I am here to help you. This is my commission. This is what I signed up for. What I wanted to talk to you about is the shadow process and our shadow side and how we can make these projections onto our divine counterpart because we act as a mirror that reflects this process. And so with that being said, due to certain traits as negative or positive, dark and light, by keeping things in the dark, it actually becomes negative. And so I am here to help you to break those negative thought forms and traits and to clear out the residue that has been attacked and has wounded the divine masculine. Okay. Now, one thing I want to let you know is that this process of shadow projection, it could be regarded as the true original sin that happened in the garden of Eden. And in terms of the Christian myth of the garden of Eden that we all know about, whether we went to church or not, when after eating of the forbidden fruit, of the tree of knowledge of good and bad, which, you know, they got that from the Kabbalah, by the way, the tree of life is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Adam and Eve were ashamed of their nakedness. And when God discovered them and asked them, where were they? They said that they were hiding. And Adam said he was naked. And so God asked him, who told you you were naked? So they were cast out. Not because they had eaten of the forbidden fruit, which is what religion teaches. Not because they discovered that they were naked, but because they felt they had done something wrong. In other words, if you judge yourself to be guilty for being vulnerable and merely human, you will be treated as such. And lose what you value above all else. And I feel like for some of the divine masculines, they have felt very guilty and undeserving of receiving the love from the divine feminine. So I am offering on this platform for the very first time without charging a small mini healing session of clearing out shadow projections. So what this is going to do is put you in alignment with your beloved. So you can come into a vibrational resonance and frequency on the same page. Being in Christ consciousness and being in harmonic resonance with divine will and order. Okay. By God's universal law, your birthright is to be in union with your beloved. And as you and your beloved come together in this one code, one frequency, this unity consciousness 
on the spiritual plane? As above, so below. What is done in heaven will also be done upon the earth. You are now entering into a spiritual union. You have contacted and connected your divine masculine's higher self. And the two of you are now one. I stand in my autonomy and I declare and decree that you and your divine masculine are one. And if you agree with this, please say yes. No outside forces, no entity, dark energies, or lower thought forms will have any hold over you. For this union is a sacred union brought to you from the divine. Mother, Father, God has watched over this union, have nourished this union, and have made this union flourish in all directions, time and space, past, present, and future. What is happening to you in this now moment is happening simultaneously on multiple timelines and multiple dimensions. Wherever there are soul fragments, we call those back. We call all of the nine subtle bodies back as one, doing it one by one, starting with the ninth soul fragment. And then we come to the eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath, please. <sighs> Blow out. And as you inhale, you're inhaling unity consciousness reunion. And when you breathe out, you're breathing out discord, conflict. Again, you are one. You are on one accord. The two are now one. You have always been one. And that does conclude your healing. And when you are at this place where you're at peace, you can say ashe or so it is or even amen. It's whatever you feel that is comfortable for you. But well, we just cleared the shadow projection. You look at your twin flame as the divine sees your twin flame. Happy, healthy, and whole. No judgment. No discrimination. And what you do for yourself, you also do for your twin flame. You have reached your twin flame from a higher degree, from a higher standpoint. Having in your heart the compassion of the Christ, being merciful, being very understanding, and knowing that we did not come here for perfection, but we came here to work through our imperfections. When you are in unity and you are at one mint with one another and at one mint with some will call atonement with God, there is no division. There is no variation of the shadow. Everything is in harmony. Perfect harmony, perfect one mint, perfect resonance. Perfect one-on-one -on -one relationship with self and one-to-one -one relationship to one another. Again, if you agree to all of the things that I've said above, please say yes. And you have come to the end 
of your shadow projection healing. Namaste.